for our line design projects inspired by the artist Bridget Riley, we are going to come up with two different sketches, two different ideas. And each of these sketches need to include at least three of the elements and principles. So you have this page in your sketchbook for planning. So I want you to make sure, again, we really want to emphasize we are drawing two different sketches for your line design project. We want to come up with as many good ideas as we can. Your best one will become your final project. Use at least three of the elements and principles in each of your sketches. So I have your possible choices right here. You are going to see I have not included color. This project is in black and white only. So anything that you fill in will not be color. It will be value instead. I also have not included form because this is a two-dimensional project. If you feel like you're using form because this is a drawing, it's probably going to be shape instead. So I'm going to go ahead and work on both of my sketches. Uh, getting some different ideas down, and then I will check back in with you in just a moment. All right, so I've gone ahead and drawn in my designs, uh, my possible designs for this project. Now, I have everything drawn in, but we wanna do two more things. The first thing that we're going to do is fill some areas in. I think they look fine like this, I really do, but I also think this can be much more vibrant and much more balanced if we fill some areas in with what will be black Sharpie on our project. With this, you can just use your pencil. So after you finish drawing everything, I would encourage you to find some areas where you can darken places in, either by filling them in or by um, making the lines bolder. That will be easier to do on the final draft of the project because we'll be using Sharpie, but regardless, go ahead and fill some of those areas in and make them darker. All right, I have gone ahead and filled some areas in, made some lines bolder. I now feel like I have a better balance of value. So the last thing that we wanna make sure that we do next to each space for your sketch, it asks which three elements and principles did you use in this sketch? And you should be able to pick at least three of the ones that are right above that space. You probably use more than three, but really try and decide which three have been the most important in your sketches. So for the first one, I think I definitely use shape, different shapes. Um, I know I used value because I filled some areas in and have a good balance there. And I also think because I have different shapes next to each other, I think I used contrast. All right, down here on the bottom, I think I did a good job of highlighting different types of line. I think I also used balance again very well. And I'm also going to write down emphasis because I feel like these lines draw attention to this circle right here. And with that done, you have finished planning for your project. If you have extra time, you can go ahead and think about which of these you would like to do for the final draft of your project.